Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Anthony or Big B Stats and welcome back to another Minecraft story mode update video for you guys and today and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the brand new characters that's going to be in Minecraft story mode episode 5. It's 3 now so you may not know exactly who they are so I'm going to go into some detail about the character also the actor as well to kind of get you a sense of how these characters might play out and also answering some of you guys questions that you left on the previous Minecraft story mode video. Also if you can drop the video like like and share it it is much appreciated and shows your support for the channel so let's go to talk about the new things that's going to be in episode 5 uh, we already know the story if you don't know the story for episode 5 there will be a video down below in the description where you can check that out I don't want to go into too much detail about the story I'll have to but not too much detail uh, so again if you didn't miss that feel free to check it out I don't want to stray too much away from the topic of talking about the new characters and also answering you guys questions so let's talk about the Sky City. The Sky City, of course, is a new place in Episode 5. Uh, along with the void too. I think I think they'll they'll try to do something with the void So I think the void is gonna look really really funky in this one for some reason I don't know why but they'll do something kind of like how in episode 4 where they implemented the far lands I think they're gonna do something like that with the void where maybe it's gonna be something down there But I'm, I'm still curious to know how they're gonna get up to Sky City if it's nothing but void below them So this is gonna be really really interesting and I, again. I definitely can't wait So let's talk about the new characters that's going to be in episode 5 that they did not mention Because basically what happens is is that Ivor kind of takes you to the Sky City wall Aiden and he gives you a bad name to the Sky City's ruler they don't really talk too much about the characters, just the names and the actors. But yeah, so they, he, Aiden kind of tells the Sky City rulers that, you know, you are bad people like Jesse and the Order. So you kind of have to do a lot to clear your name. There's just a gist of the story there. So let's talk about who's going to be the loyal captain of the guard. And that is going to be Reganol. That's the name uh, of this person. Now remember, all this stuff is confirmed too. So don't worry if there's like any speculations and things like that. Like if I'm just thinking of these names, all of this stuff is confirmed by Telltale Games. So yeah, his name is Reginald or Reginald. Uh, we'll probably have to see whenever it comes out how it's pronounced. They could pronounce it completely different. Now this character is going to be played by Sean Ashton. Now he was actually an actor in the Lord of the Rings. Now I'll pop up a picture on the screen again if you don't know who that is. So yeah, he's going to be that character. So we know that that's going to be a guy, which he's going to be again, the loyal captain of the guard. Next up we have, uh, it's going to be a female in episode five, as far as like a female new character which is being played by Melissa Hutchison and she plays uh, the little girl on the Walking Dead Telltale Games edition so if you didn't play that it, it, well, if, you, if you've probably seen it before, especially if you're a big fan of Telltale games Not the Michonne Walking Dead, but the one before that. It's a Telltale story uh, And that's she's gonna be playing as the founder of Sky City. Now her name has not yet been released I'm sure that's gonna be quite private uh, for that So it's not to say that she's like the ruler of the Sky City, but she is the founder So I'm assuming she has some type of pull or power. She could also be the ruler You just don't know and then last up we have one more character who's gonna be played by Jim Meskimen and th it's funny because he's He's actually a comedian impersonationist or something like that so his he's like really good at impersonating a lot of actors so I'm assuming his voice is gonna be really good in this one and he's gonna be playing as the rebellious Milo or Milo again depending on how you pronounce it so this is gonna be interesting so there's three new characters right there they don't have any screenshots of what these characters look like but again uh, the actors I think they chose for this is gonna be really good and I think we can definitely expect this a lot uh, as far as some good things uh, to come from this and I'm really really looking forward to it but yeah so we know that so far uh, in the Sky City there's gonna be two two men and, and one woman I'm assuming because of the actor list so this is gonna be good unless Militia Hutchison can do like a, a man voice but I don't think that'll work out we'll just have to see though and I'm really looking forward to it so let's start off with some of the questions that some of you guys asked so this question was by Eleanor Violet and she goes Steve should be the ruler of Sky City now that's actually a good one but I don't I don't think Steve Steve is just your generic Minecraft character. I'm really curious to see if they will implement Steve, though, at all. I know in episode three or two, I think when you're in Boomtown, they had a character that looked like Tuxedo Steve, but that was it. So I don't know if they'll ever implement Steve. I think if they do that, it'll kind of cross worlds or something. I don't know. They're in the same world, but two different worlds. If they ever do implement Steve and also Alex, that'd be really interesting to see. But 
Steve is definitely not going to be the, the ruler of the Sky City. <laughs> watch, watch, watch when episode 5 comes and Steve actually is. I'm going to feel so upset about that. So next up was a question by Val Rad, And they go, Aiden is in Magnus armor. Now that's a good, that's, that's actually a good question there. Because it kind of looks exactly like Magnus armor, but to a certain degree. Probably because it's green, it kind of looks like it. But some of you guys did point out that maybe Magnus and Aiden are related. When you think about it, Magnus is also kind of a jerk sometimes. And also Aiden is too. And they kind of have that edge to them where it seems they both could possibly be related somehow. So we'll have to see if that, that may be the case. But that's a good point on pointing that out. Uh, again, we'll just have to see if they, they maybe, you know, are related down the, down the line. I don't think they've actually bumped into each other much unless... No, I really don't think they've actually bumped into each other. So we'll, hopefully they do. Uh, we'll see. I guess depending on what side you, if you have Eligard alive or Magnus alive. So I don't know how this is going to play out uh, too. So last question was also by Joe Stein. And they go, do you think they will fight the Ender Dragon? Now, I was big on this topic at the end of episode four because they didn't really give us too much about episode five. And then when we found out it's in the sky, it's like, wow, okay, the Ender Dragon may not be involved in this, so I don't know if they'll fight the, the Ender Dragon in Episode 5. I do think the Ender Dragon will come back at some point, just because of the whole command block thing, and there's not, like, a lot of mobs, so I think at some point in this, you will have to either fight, like, a Guardian or Ender Dragon. I think there's, they'll definitely add these mobs in. I don't think they'll go the whole series without, you know, having more glimpses of you fighting the Ender Dragon. I mean, that would be super awesome, fighting the Ender Dragon. Just think about it. I mean, even, like, the Wither, well, the actual wither. No, never mind. We fought. We fought a wither storm, so a regular wither would would do absolutely nothing. <laughs> so yeah, we'll just have to see. But that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, again, a little bit of back history on some of the new characters is going to be in episode five. And again, I would like to thank all of you for watching. Remember to leave a like and share. Again, it is appreciated and shows your support for the channel. And feel free to subscribe for more Minecraft story mode videos and more. Also, if again, if, if you did not uh, catch up on the series, there's a link down below in the description to a playlist where you can watch all the episodes before episode 5 comes out next week. So yeah, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!